The term flimph was coined by Pete Heidi and made popular in the book he co-authored with Jim Leisenring called The Art of Tying the Wet Fly and Fishing the Flimph. In general, they're kind of scruffy looking flies, yet they're very effective on the water. They consist of a hackle collar, which may be either tied in and wrapped just behind the eye or into the thorax region. A soft, dubbed body with silk thread shimmering through when wet. They may or may not have a tail. The hook is a Jemco 102Y in a size 15 and the thread is Pearsall's Gossamer in black. The hackle is a badger, hen, tied in at the eye. Hackle is trapped, a couple of turns and then the waist is trimmed. The ribbing is a fine gold wire tied in underneath the shank. For the tail, using some uh, end barbs in a mottled dyed olive color. Just a few barbs. The length will be just a bit short of the length of the shank. Time in now. And then wrapped in touching turns to the bend, making sure that the barbs remain on top and the ribbing underneath. When the end of the shank is reached, the silk will be split and the dubbing will be inserted to form the body. Pearsall consist of three plies. So when it gets split, it's never split down the middle, but rather one ply and two plies. I'm using some dyed olive hair for the body. Inserted in between the thread, then the thread is allowed to close up and then spun and the twists are allowed to run up the thread and start wrapping the the body Stopping just short of the eye. The gold wire can now be wrapped in open spirals towards the eye. Trapped and worried off. Attached the easy pliers to the hackle and wrap a collar. The tip is trapped. And there's a steep turn of thread to go to the eye. Then the flimph is finished off with a three turn whip finish.
and the waste thread is snipped away. That completes the first generic flimph pattern. Little raggedy taggy bit of a fly, but then drowned or struggling insects. Do not paint a pretty clean picture. Flimps tend not to be your pretty manicured style of fly. They have a rather unkept, unruly appearance. The fish like them that way. A second way of tying a flimph shown in this clip will have the hackle not just at the eye of the hook, but running part way into the thorax. For the second version, of the flimph. The hackle was tied in as before, as was the rib, the tail, the body, the ribbing wrapped towards the eye. The difference will now be to get an open spiral turn back with the thread till about one third of the uh, length of the shank. The hackle pliers are clipped on. Now the collar is wrapped. Two turns in front, then an open spiral towards the waiting thread. Trapped and again cut through. the eye. To be finished off with a three turn whip finish. And then thread is snipped away. 